Hi everyone and welcome to talk to the expert at propertygenie.co.nz. Today we have with us Rene McLean. He is a registered value of New Zealand with property in debt, Manukau and South Auckland franchisee. Hi Rene and welcome to talk to the expert interview. Hi Heather. We would like to hear from you as an active and one of the best uh, valuers in the area. How is the market doing in your area and what are the trends that you are seeing at the moment by investors? What are they buying? What are they doing? How is it going? Sure. Uh, the market's still very active. I think it uh, looks like it's going to be heading that way for the rest of the year. So it um, looks like we'll be having 10% plus rises like we did last year. Investors are, are really getting into the market in a big way at the moment. What I'm finding is there's a lot of investors that are coming back after sitting fairly dormant for about five years, particularly if they've got a lot of South Auckland stock. So now that the South Auckland properties are over and above the levels of the last peak in 2007, all those investors have got good equity and they're ready to go out there and buy investment property. But uh, as the market increases, the, there's a lot of investors that have in that situation at a similar time and so uh, quite quickly that's created a lot of demand for only a limited supply of property. What I'm finding the most demand for is home and income properties in the South Auckland area which are still delivering good yields and there's a lot of investors looking for that stock. The yields around the Manurewa area and most of those lower cost South Auckland areas were just over the 8% mark uh, in the last year or two. Uh, they are now coming below the 8% yield, so we're seeing now sales uh, generally between 7 and 7.75% gross yields wow. for that sort of stock. Um, the rental market isn't quite keeping pace as it was in 2011-2012. When the government announced the lack of uh, depreciation or you're not able to declaim depreciation on the house back then that did have a flow-on effect to rents and there were some quite big increases in rents. The rental market does still seem to be increasing a little bit but it's certainly slowing down. So what we're having now is that the overall yields are decreasing and there's a lot of investors after those home and income properties. And uh, even anything over a 7% yield is still looking quite good when you can get uh, there's a few five-year rates that have been under 6%. There's three-year rates that um, have been getting close to 5% lending from the bank. So those sort of yields are still looking quite attractive, particularly when you are getting capital gains on those properties occurring as well. So that's the main thing I'm seeing at the market, in the market at the moment. Good demand for home and incomes. Um, generally, people that are buying do-ups are often holding them because they're seeing the market increases so I think investors are realizing that you can buy a do, -up, do a quick flick um, but if you're only making ten thousand dollars on it you can easily make another ten thousand by holding on to it for a few months um, particularly when it, there's such good demand for property it's very difficult to get property under value at the moment so that's probably the main thing I'm seeing in the market uh, at the moment and, and I think this year we're going to continue to get that Great, Rene. Thank you very much for this uh, market update in the, in your area, which is uh, Manukau and South Auckland. Rene is a registered valuer with Property in Debt, which I use personally as well. And um, if you need anything, feel free to um, contact him through the link. Thank you very much, Rene. Thanks for All the right, contributing. Thanks, sir. Cheers.